Stay tuned for this week's episode. It should be good. Should be some good action. I got two hunters and one blind, lots of bucks around. come in uh, yesterday today's the first day of their hunt I got them out here in the blind um, I'm sitting in a spot where I can see them they got like six or seven bucks around and uh, just a matter of time this uh, this spot is should produce um, I'll show you guys that's a decoy we got out that right there is a decoy full body mount decoy You can see the stake underneath them there. Antelope, that full body mount antelope. It's there's no question that the antelope's real, so that's why it's real good. Well, we're gonna sit here and see what happens, guys. I'll pan here and show you all the antelope. Couple bucks there. There's about four or five really good bucks in there. A couple small ones. But they're just all over in there. Anyway, see what happens. Is that bucks right there coming? Yep. Buck in the dough. Pretty nice looking buck too. There's just starting to get, see how he's lifting his head up there and he's putting it back and forth? See, he's ready to breed, but she's not. And uh, that's what they do when they approach the, the does. They kind of, you know, how most guys are. Their eyes roll in the back of their head. So, but we need, all we need is that doe to walk over by that decoy and he'll follow. Quite a few antelope there. Now it looks like them antelope are close to close to the blind, but they're about 100 and, 125 yards away from that blind right now. But in this picture, in this view, it's very deceiving. Because I thought the same thing when I looked out there. But I ranged the antelope and I ranged the blind and there's about 125 yards between the two. That buck was getting kind of close. He was, he, he doesn't know what he wants to do. He doesn't know if he wants to go over by that decoy or if he wants to go over to them does or if he wants to go over to the other buck and does. Looks like he's kind uh, of walking right down the middle, trying to decide. Now he turns, he's gonna go towards the other ones. He didn't have to go real far to get to the decoy. So he was heading towards that decoy, but he got, I don't know, what I looked to me, maybe about 80 yards out. So um, I'm going to sit here. He, he, he started pawing the ground and rubbing his horns. And the black patches on her cheeks, they have uh, glands. And what they'll do is they'll start rubbing on the sagebrush and that deposit the scent. It's kind of like tarsal gland on a, um, a white-tailed buck. But yeah, they got some glands on their black cheek patches. And they like to deposit that scent on brush and grass, whatnot. So, anyway, he hasn't figured out what he wants to do. So, we're gonna sit here and watch him some more. And right there, you can see where he's rubbing his face. I 
I dropped those guys off, there was a ton of mosquitoes over there, so he's probably getting, he probably got some mosquitoes flying around his head. That's probably why he's shaking his head. Oh, so here comes some does. It's always a good thing. Especially now, they're just starting, just starting to get into the pre some pre-run activity. He says, oh, I'm gonna go check her out. Let's go over here and check her out. See how far along she is. He might get frisky enough to go over there and check out that decoy. That's what my hope is. And then antelope. Antelope are notorious for just standing in one spot. And they'll stand there for 20, 30 minutes and just not even move, just stare. Stare out into oblivion. I don't know what they're looking at. It's like they're analyzing something, but I mean, literally 20, 30 minutes stand in one spot, never move. Like they don't even move their head, just like stand there and stare like a statue. It's kind of crazy. That buck's right behind that pole, guys. He's just standing there looking at the blind. Either looking at the blind or looking at the decoy. One of the two. Here he comes. Oh, that's the deal. No, oh, that's the buck. You don't like it. Decoy's about, I don't know, 18 yards or so, 20 yards from that blind. Oh, he shot. I think he missed. Is he laying down? Oh, he laid down. Well, that's not good. Um, yeah. He ran all of a sudden, so I'm assuming they shot. The buck and the doe ran, and uh, the buck just ran, I don't know how far, 100 yards or so, and then he bedded down. So that's more than likely that's a gut shot. Um, I could be wrong, but I highly doubt that that buck ran and laid down on his own without getting hit. So we're gonna we're gonna keep on watching here and see what happens. Yeah, he's still laying there. Let me zoom in here and see if we can get a better. Yeah, he's laying there. So anyway, oh, uh, I'm gonna watch this spotting scope. I'll get back at you here. So I'm gonna be willing to bet that he definitely shot because all of them does are staring at the blind. And they're probably in there recocking the bow. But this antelope over here, he's bedded down this buck. That's the buck that they shot at. I'm assuming they shot. He's not gonna run over there and lay down on his own. Um, he definitely gotta be hit, so. Anyway, I'll keep watching here. So there's the buck, he got up. Now he's walking. Looks like it's a gut shot. And they just laid down again. All right, guys. Here's a lesson for you. When 
I have hunters in the blinds. I always tell them to stay in the blind even after the shot. I got a hold of this guy. I saw, I didn't see the actual hit whenever he shot, but I did see the antelope run, so I assumed they shot. And I saw him go over bed down, so I assumed he shot and he hit it. Um, but normally on antelope and even other animals, deer, whatever, they'll run, no bed down if they're gunshot. If it's in the long and hard, they're going to run as fast as they can, at least antelope, they're going to run as fast as they can across that field, then they'll fall over dead. They just they bleed out. In this particular case, hang on, I gotta look at something. All right. So in this particular case, the buck ran over about he ran about 30, 40 yards, 50 yards, and stopped. And then he walked, and then he bed it down. A good indication that's either liver or guts. I texted the the hunter. Ron and the other guys, Brandon, I think, and Brandon is a shooter. He's new to hunting. But anyway, um, they said that they got him, you know. They got a good shot, showed me where it was. But before I even saw the hit, I knew exactly where it was probably hit, just by the way the antelope was acting, just because I've seen this so many times. And it's a gut, gut shot. And it might have clipped the liver. I, I seen the exit hole. I, I don't think I seen the entrance hole, but it's really low in the white and it's back. So if it is a straight up gut shot, this thing will lay here for four or five hours before it dies. If it did catch the liver, it'll probably be two to three hours before his head goes down and he finally dies. And his head is still up. So anyway, this is what hunting guides have to deal with. Um, best thing to do is watch the buck from afar. Don't try to sneak up and shoot it because it's fully, it's fully alive. It can jump up and it can run two miles, a mile across this prairie, through the fence, onto the neighbors. That's the last thing we want to do. We want it to lay there in its bed and slowly expire. That's what we want. So, yeah. It is 9.44 right now and we'll see where this goes here. But the buck's bedded with his head up and, uh, we're just going to watch them. I'll see you guys on the next video. I'm going to give you guys guide tip of the week. And that tip is, if you think that it was a bad hit, if you have any doubt, back out. I know that's not an original thing. I know that's not mine. That's been around forever. But back out. Out here in this open country, I can see everything. You know, now, now the buck got up again and walked into the high grass. I obviously can't see that. But when you're dealing with animals back east in the woods, you know, these those deer back there on a hit like this, they can go, bed down, get up, go, bed down. And all you're doing, if you wait 30, 40 minutes, you're just bumping them. You ain't never going to find them. If you back out, if you have a doubt and you back out, go four or five hours middle of the day four or five hours overnight four or five hours yeah there's a chance coyotes will come get them but it's better to find and have something than have nothing so this is just a unfortunate unfortunate thing it happens with archery hunters it happens with rifle hunters but at least with rifle hunters a lot of times we can get back on and get another shot it's it does happen with archery where I can get them on there and get another shot, but it is a lot harder, especially when it's totally flat and it and you can see for miles there's no trees and it's just just basically prairie. So anyway, that's where we're sitting here. It's uh, almost 10 o'clock now. It's been about 20 minutes, and uh, yeah, he, he just got up, went into the high grass. I can't see him now, so I might go around and see if I can get some more eyeballs on him. Um, I'm watching them in the spotting scope here, and uh, yeah, we're going to see what happens. All right, guys, so um, let's see what time it is. It is 11 o'clock, and the buck that's hit, he got up three or four or five times and moved 40, 50 yards each time, and I could see the hit. It was low, straight through the guts. Um, it's going to be an all day here but what we got to do is basically just watch him until he gets to a point where he can't get up anymore or dies um, 
but I've seen this same exact thing happen multiple times over the over the years happen more than multiple like probably 15 20 times and it's it's always the same deal it's five hours six hours before you die so that's just a part of the deal when you're hunting archery you know you're at the mercy of them getting close enough and you know you can practice all you want on targets but when you put an animal in front of you it's and there's wind and other variables you know um yeah it's hunting Okay guys, it's uh, about one, about a quarter after one here, and um, I, uh, my, my hunter just texted me and said that they haven't seen the head come up here in about 30 minutes or so, so we're going to head in there and see if we can get on him again, see if he's alive, um, get wait till this train goes by across these tracks, so anyway, yeah, that's, so that's what we're doing, I'm going to head in here and uh, see if we can get back on him and Hopefully he's dead. If he's not dead, hopefully we can get another shot into him. So, recover him. Alright guys, we'll see you in a minute. Well, let's go see if he's dead. I don't know if he is, but sometimes it takes a little longer than this, but you never know. Well, it's been close to an hour since I've seen him. Okay. His head. So grab your uh, your your shooting sticks and your arrows and your bow, and we're gonna walk down this road and see if we can see him. If he's laying down and he moves his head a little bit, we'll try to get another arrow into him. <laughs> so, now, do you know where he is? Last time I saw him, he was right over there. From the road so is he over here you see where those two does are yeah come this way just past that uh, uh, bale and that's where he the last time i saw him so towards us from that yeah okay it, 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 if you draw a line from us to those does you're going to cross him okay well let's go is he on this side of the road or the other side of the road Okay, he's done. Good job, buddy. Sweet, thanks, man. First antelope. Yeah. Oh, he's a dandy too. He's got some ivory tips on. Sweet. Real nice buck. Cool. Yeah, I mean it. From when I saw him walking, it looked like it was further back, but I think you caught part of the lung here. So, but it technically should have been a little higher, it, right? Yeah, you know, you did good. It really it should be about right here, but oh, okay. But it was it was a quarter? I did. I couldn't. It was kind of quartered a little. Quartering we thought. two. Yeah. Quartering two. So it went in here and it came out the other side. Right. Gotcha. The, the, the exit room, the exit hole you saw. Yeah. Was on the exit. I mean, it looked it looked way back. Yeah, the other room. side definitely looked like it was. A, oh, I hit the. Right. Yeah. Good well, shot, Brandon. Congratulations again, Brandon. Thanks, man. I want you to come back here. I'm gonna get them. I'm gonna get them uh, rolled up here. So your first time to Wyoming hunting. Yep. First time antelope hunting. Yep. We got you in the blind this morning. There's lots of antelope around, and. Heck yeah. And then what? What actually happened? He was he coming to the decoy? He he came to the decoy. He we saw him quite a ways off, two or four hundred yards yeah. off, and uh, he circled. And then he, he walked away, and then he turned around, and there was a doe yeah. that he sort of followed. Right. And then he left her and came right toward the decoy, and then just kind of walked around the decoy. And How far a shot was it? 32 yards. I couldn't tell. It's so, so deceiving from that far away. Sure. But I knew I had the decoy around 20 yards, maybe 15, 20 yards, but that's good. That, that decoy, he was curious, right? Yeah. 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 So that kind of brought him in, and... That's a heck of a nice goat. You know, for your first one, Eric, it's yeah. really weird. Yeah, we were in the blind five minutes, yeah. literally, and I didn't have the bow cocked or nothing. And I and I said, look, there, and there was a buck right beside that decoy. Really, Just standing right there. No kidding. And it was too dark to shoot. I wasn't ready or yeah. nothing. Wow. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't. Could just have been a this few one. minutes. Yeah. Well, 
you got a heck of a nice buck there. That's that's a, you know, a, unfortunately, the, the the shot wasn't perfect, but we played it. We we aired on the side of caution. We yeah. waited, and a good outcome here. Uh, a lot of guys just want to jump out of the blind and go running in there, and I mean that thing could have went for a mile or two. And like I said, if you guys, you know, if uh, if you if you're ever in doubt, the best thing to do is just back out, just watch them, yeah, let them let them expire. And it makes sense. It just, you know, it actually, it, he from the sh from what I'm seeing here, it, you you have definitely hit something a little bit more than guts, maybe a liver or. I it, thought that I saw the shot. Yeah, I, I couldn't see the entrance hole, so all I saw was the exit. I hole. know you did, and and when you said that, uh, I thought it was a good shot. I had it on video. Yeah. And, and and then when he went the other way, and then and then I saw it. I thought, crap, it wasn't as good as I thought. Right. And then you said. <laughs> You know, it looked like a gut shot, and then I got to kind of wondering, but I kept thinking. Yeah. And we never did see yeah. the the entrance room uh, right. shot. Right. He kept walking the other way. Yeah. I'm just gonna get some that's video. A, that's a good pose. That's a really good pose. Are you, are you turned on? Yeah, I'm just recording here. Okay, I'm gonna get that stuff. How, you didn't know what to expect, did you? I had no idea what to expect. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> totally different than Illinois, huh? Yes. Yeah, you, you guys are used to the thick forests and it's yeah. pretty open out here. And uh, for sure, these uh, antelope, like a, these a lot, these antelope don't have a lot of rhyme or reason to what they do. They just kind of. There's no frolic and play. We yeah. saw a lot of them like just playing. Yeah, and so chasing like, each other. <laughs> I saw a couple bucks just starting to make scrapes. They're just starting to get interested in the does, and uh, but that decoy did the trick. Yeah, you know he he was curious enough to come close enough to check it out, and fortunate enough, you know, fortunate enough for you, you were able to get a shot and uh, get him on the ground here. So, so. okay, so what what I do is I'm gonna have you hold these legs up like this. Okay. First thing I do is take my knife. Got him. We waited it out and the buck expired out there in the field. And uh, it didn't take as long. He actually hit the liver, which is good. Um, he bled out internally. He didn't do a lot of bleeding on the outside. But we got him. It was his first buck, first antelope buck of the season. Pretty excited. If uh, you guys like this content, like this video, please like and subscribe. My name is Eric from Guided. And there'll be more videos to come. Hunt season is just getting started here. See you guys on the next video. Good to see you, buddy. You want to take that off? Huh? Yeah. Well, let's get that thing out of the sun. Yeah. I'll pull down here. Yeah. Okay.
Okay. Yeah, they're gonna take so they're gonna take it with them, and they want a full cape to go. Cape, cape off the head. Yep, cape and freeze off the head. Okay. You know, chop the horn, put it on the bag like you guys normally do. When do they need it done by? Um, Friday, if they can. Okay. We got the the other guy still on the blind. Don, he's still on the blind there, and with uh, Brand, actually Brandon still sitting with him too. So um, they stayed in the blind while I took the took the antelope into town, took it to the butcher, so. Anyway, I'm just out cruising around. I, there's some more bucks out here. Um, nothing close, but out there. There's a buck, there's a buck, and that's a buck. Anyway, I'm going to keep scouting. Hey, what's up everybody? It's about quarter till 8 p.m. And it's been a long day, but it's been a good day. If you guys are thinking about becoming a guide, you got to do guide things. And that means be out 3 o'clock in the morning until 9, 10 o'clock at night. Get up and do it all over again the next day. So, you got to have a passion for it. got to love it like I do. I love it. I'm not gonna complain about it. So, anyway, getting ready to pick up pick up these guys, head to, head back to the lodge, get something to eat. It's been a good day. We'll see you tomorrow. Hey, good morning, everybody. Today is day number two for this second group of hunters here. Um, yesterday Brandon tagged out shot a nice buck um, Hit a little bit back, but um, we recovered it expired there a few hours um, Got it taken care of and now we're on day two and Ron is in the blind and uh, There's bucks and does around they're not quite close enough, but they're out there in front of the blind so yeah, so there's a nice buck laying there. He's probably 300 yards away from that blind, maybe 400. I'm not sure. It's hard to tell from this angle, but there's that buck, and then there's a, uh, one or two other nice bucks over to the right a few hundred yards from the one that's bedded there. So We are going to hang out and watch and see what we come up with. And uh, it is 9.30. I got him in the blind this morning around... 5 o'clock a.m. Maybe a little after 5. Um, it's been getting daylight around 5.30, 5.20, So, yeah, we, uh, this is what we do as a hunting guide. I'll go, I'll drive around, scout, and come back and watch them a little bit, and go around the scout some more, and get ready for the next group of hunters. And, you know, I don't go home and sit on the couch um, while these guys are in the blind, I'm out here all day. I just hang out and do some scouting and just kind of wait around until the hunter tells me he's ready or he shot one or he's ready to go. So, all right, I'll keep you updated. Hey guys, so just to give you a little update, it's two o'clock, day two. There's not much going on. The antelope are out in the field there and uh, they're just kind of milling around, feeding. I'll, uh, I'll kind of scan through there and show you but yeah they're not doing a whole lot um it's 90 degrees out so so that that antelope that's directly to the right of the blind the furthest back that's a decoy that's our that's our full full body mount decoy and the, then the other ones all the other ones that you see are all um all real real antelope so let me shut this off here so it's not shaking. Yeah. So I don't know if you guys see this, but here's another tip of the week. When you guys are hunting in blinds, you see the blind over there that they're in, my hunters are in? You see that window that's on the back? You see how he's moving around? Well, them antelope can see completely through that blind. I'm going to have to text them and tell them they need to close that window in the back because they're going to, the antelope, they, 
they can see completely through the blind if you have light on the other side. Now, you know, if it's black behind you, then they have a hard time with depth perception as far as being in a blind, uh, seeing into it. Um, but yeah, I'm going to have to call them and tell them because they don't want to sit there all day and basically not have something come in because they can see in the blind. So anyway, that's what's going on here. Um, but yeah, that's what's going on here. I'm just kind of waiting around. They want me to pick them up at eight o'clock tonight. So a couple more hours. Um, it's pretty hot out. I think it's in the nineties, but other than that, sun shining like always. So we'll see you guys on the next video. Hey, hey what's up everybody so it is five till six p.m it's been a long day it's got to be long in that blind all day i know that but if you want to hunt antelope and you want to get one more than likely sitting in a blind is the way to do it that's how we usually get them we do stock them sometimes but what we found is two things. One, when you stock them, about one out of every 10 stocks even gets a shot. And two, if you stock them and you don't have a very big place to hunt on, um, you're kind of spooking all the animals that you're trying to trying to hunt, you know, out of a blind. So, and then, then they kind of know you're, you're up to something, they're on edge and yada yada. But, I mean, I like stocking them, but we, we do that on certain ranches that are are bigger um, versus the ones that are smaller so hey good morning everybody day number two for these guys um, so last night when I got them out of the blind I uh, I told them I said I think I'm gonna put another blind up um, out in the middle of the field where I was seeing the bucks and the does kind of feeding all day uh, they never they never went close enough to get to where they were sitting yesterday so I figured I'm gonna put the blind out there so it we came in here this, this morning in the dark and I kind of had it marked where I wanted to put it by some hay bales and I put it up next to this hay bale got them in there and I left and um, yeah so I was just out scouting and then I just got back here and just kind of waiting to see what happens so but should be a good day. It's uh, it's gonna be a little cooler today, a little cloudy, and uh, but yeah, it should be good. So I'll keep you guys updated. It's about let's see, it's seven o'clock right now. So we'll see we'll see what happens here. So all right, we'll see you in a bit. He shot and he got him. I missed the shot. Dang it. Behind that doe, I saw a leg go up in the air. Yep, there he is right there. He's trying to get up. shot one anyway this morning come in here so last night the the plan was I watched these these bucks and these does feed out in the middle of that field and so I told him I said I'm gonna put this blind out yesterday I picked them up I said I'm gonna put this blind out in the morning and have you guys sit out there where they were sure enough work baby put the blind in there in the dark next to the hay bale and these guys uh, got them in there got them all set up I came I went around scout a little bit here and got daylight and uh, watched the bucks kind of feeding towards them and nailed them. Awesome. So I'm going to head over there and uh, 
take a look at them and get the guys out of the blinds. Just take a look at them and we'll get some pictures. All right, guys. We're walking out here to get these guys. Um, I did the buck lane in the building. So get you guys turned around. I'll show you. That's the one that. That's the one that flares out, right? Awesome, guys. The whole thing was predictable. It was awesome. <laughs> hey, man, you weren't lying, were you? You said, I'm going to shoot one this morning. <laughs> Congratulations, buddy. That's, that's awesome. It worked out perfect, didn't it? Oh, man. What a... Yeah, I watched the whole thing. So... So I was sitting over there, and there was like a couple, just like two, two or three out here, and, I, and then I saw them just all marching across the field. There. I'm like, oh, man, look at that <laughs> But from my angle, it looked like that thing was 100 yards out, no, or 50 yards. Yeah, it or, was when he first came in. Yeah. they were 55 yards. Really? And then they went back a little and bit. And then it went over there and yeah. they bedded down. And then okay. the, do the does started coming out. There was and then a, they kind of went around us, and then they came forward. There was another was buck with him. Yeah. And, and another doe, and they bedded down over there. Yeah. And then two of the does were over here feeding for quite a while, and then one bedded down. Yeah. Then there was a small buck came right in here. Really? Yeah. So this was a good spot then. Oh, oh. Was, yeah. It was amazing. What a relief. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he was coming. He, well, so I, how far was he when he shot? 40 yards. 40. Nice. He was over 100 and... What did I say? 100 and... 120 yards like bedded that. down. Yeah. And he was headed, he was facing this way. I said, Brandon, he's going to get up. He's going to walk right straight toward us. And yeah. he did. He did. And I didn't, well, I didn't even get my shooting stick. I oh, mean, really? Yeah. Nice. But, uh, well, of course, I had my elbow down. Yeah. I was solid. Yeah. It was, I mean, I didn't take a bad shot, but. So, but he, so when you, when you hit him, did he just go in a circle and fall over, or what did he do? He was, well, he, he just. He was facing this way, wasn't he? Mm -hmm. And he just turned, turned around, around right? and he just ran like 20 yards and just yep. fell right over. He and didn't after, run in a circle or second, nothing. Like flipped his neck up and then flipped. Well, it, it must down. have been a real good hit. Yeah. Well, well, let's go take a look at it. I got lucky. That's the well. <laughs> you'll, we'll take luck over skill any day. That's the one with the with the flared out. I think so. Prongs. That's what I thought when I saw him. I'm like, dang, he's gonna come over there by them. Yeah. Holy cow, is he a dandy? Look at this perfect heart shot. Look at that. Look at this buck, guys. I didn't. I had my eyes closed, so I didn't know where I was. <laughs> wow, what a wow. buck! Nice. Look at the cutters on this thing. Look at that. It is so. It is bent over. Yeah. This way. Who are you hunting with, Don? Trophy Ridge Outfitters. Trophy Ridge Outfitters. You came here last year, you and you hunted antelope and deer. This, this is. Um... This is actually my third antelope hunt with okay. Trophy Ridge. Yeah. Uh, the first time I didn't get one. Last year I got a, a good one, and and uh, I came back and and uh, got lucky this time. Got another one. You got a really good one. Yeah. Really, this is a good really. One. It's gonna it's gonna be pretty on the wall. Let me tell you. With the with the way those cutters flare out like that, it's you don't see that a whole lot. <laughs> this is normal how they curl in, uh -huh. but that one goes out to the side. Uh -huh. It's really neat. So. Let's talk about the hunt. You know, we, we were set up here, uh, yesterday was your first, you guys, is, no, no, two days, two days ago. ago was the first yeah, day. Right. Brandon got his out of the blind. First morning. First morning. So, and we had the decoy out and then the next day we got you guys back in there, got the decoy out and then nothing, it seemed like nothing really wanted to come close no, enough to the decoy. Was, nothing came in close enough. It was uh, kind of discouraging and, and so, uh, fortunately, my guy decided to <laughs> yeah so so we to move the blind so last night we i thought about it when we were when i was watching this all day i'm thinking we need to get a blind out there by in the middle of where they're feeding all day uh -huh. they're they're spending most of their time in this area right here so what we did was we came in here this morning and i put this blind i marched out in the middle of this field i kind of had some pay bills referenced and we stuck this blind and it got them got them guys in here and then i'll have so when it got daylight, where, where did you see most of the antelope? Where were they at? They were over to our right. Uh, there was uh, probably five or six uh, does and a couple of bucks. Yeah. And this one and another another nice one. And how far out were they when you saw um, them? When they first came in, they were about 100 yards. And uh, then um, the does 
kept feeding and the two bucks just bedded down yeah about 120 yards in front of us and and stayed there probably 15 20 minutes okay maybe. and uh then finally they just both got up and walked right toward us nice and then so when they got they got to about 40 yards you had a perfectly broadside shot perfect shot perfect you just stood still and uh i grabbed my crossbow and thought this is the time <laughs> yeah and you, you laid a smack down on them i'm gonna have you hold them just like that and i'm just gonna kind of go in here and kind of film the buck the horns the shot perfect shot i mean perfect right through the heart i know it hit the heart beautiful buck beautiful hunt nice day it's cool perfect day. and it's what time Over is it? it's like seven o'clock well, yeah. I shot him uh, I think right before 7. Right before 7? It was about 6.45. Okay. Uh, well, congratulations, Don. <laughs> it was an aw That's an awesome, awesome trophy. Thank you. Know, you. Thank you, To Eric. be able to get a, an antelope with a bow, that's a, that's a true, that's, that's a feat. Because a lot of guys, you know, they can't sit in the blind that long. Or <laughs> there's a lot of variables and you have to get them close. And, but, man, what a, what a trophy. What a buck. Yeah, this is great. Yeah. And you and you and you wanted to get it done, you know, sooner than later. You gotta get back to work and whatnot. So wanted to get it early. Yeah, so. it kind of all worked out. And congratulations! It was an awesome <laughs> hunt with you guys. Yeah. So we'll get them. Uh, we'll get them field dressed. We'll get them out of the field and field dressed, and then to the locker. Okay. Well like this footage like this channel please like and subscribe my name is Eric from Guided and we'll see you guys on the next hunt Got him.